Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video I'm going to try to answer several questions relating to the Boeing X-37B Orbital Test Vehicle. Since this unmanned orbital spacecraft was first launched, there have been innumerable videos and articles speculating as to its purpose. In this video, I'll summarize the information that is in the public domain, and then I'll list some of the theories about the X-37B's secret purposes. So watch this video to the end, and if you think I've missed any key points, then please add a comment below and I'll look into it. The X-37B is the second in a series of unmanned space vehicles known as orbital test vehicles, designed and built by Boeing. They are launched and operated by the United States Air Force for the purpose of testing reusable space technologies. The X-37 is launched into low orbit using conventional rockets like the Atlas 7 or SpaceX Falcon 9 and glides back to Earth as an unpowered space plane. Low Earth orbit means that it flies lower than orbiting satellites and much lower than geostationary satellites. The project began under NASA as a civilian project but was later transferred to the US Department of Defense. It was originally designed to be a reusable space vehicle for the purposes of launching, servicing or retrieving satellites. It can also carry equipment and instruments into space where they can be tested and returned to Earth for analysis. For these reasons, it is a cost-effective method of testing new technologies, but we may not be aware of these advantages until the technologies are used in other projects. Since then, very few of the X-37B's experiments and tests have been made public. The resemblance to the Space Shuttle is no coincidence, since its aerodynamic design was based on the shuttle. There have been several orbital missions in the last few years. The latest began on September 7, 2017, when the X-37B was launched into orbit using a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. At the time of creating this video, the X-37B is still orbiting the Earth and can be tracked using popular astronomy apps like SkyGuide. Yes, that's right. Contrary to what some have said, it's not so secret that it can't be tracked by anyone using one of several free or inexpensive apps. Each of the X-37B missions have been longer than the previous, and all of them are controlled by the US military. The mission prior to the current one lasted 718 days, when the X-37B touched down in Florida in May 2017. There are plenty more details, with all the appropriate citations, about the X-37 models and the OTV missions in Wikipedia. The page is Boeing underscore X-37. What is the true purpose of the X-37? Given the fact that the X-37 is financed and controlled by the USAF, it is logical to assume that its purpose is at least in part of a military nature. We know from history that the military has worked on top-secret projects and only released information when it is deemed appropriate to do so. Everyone, including those in high office, is treated on a need-to-know basis. When the time is right, the news media is used to disseminate information, but it is also sometimes employed to scatter disinformation. That is, information that is partly or totally false, as opposed to misinformation, which is information that is unintentionally wrong. The design, building and development of the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk is a good example. This was a genuine black project that very few people knew about in the 1970s and early 1980s. As a consequence, test aircraft probably accounted for some of the UFO sightings in those years, since the aircraft were based at Groom Lake in Nevada, Area 51. Even when it became operational, the details of the F-117 remained a closely guarded secret. So today, in the absence of any reliable information, people have been left a guess as to what exactly the X-37B is doing up there. As the speculation regarding its true purpose begins, the experts, self-appointed or otherwise, start talking and the rumour mill swings into action. Ideas have included a low-orbit delivery mechanism for WMD, reconnaissance, i.e. spying on other countries, and testing secret space thrusters. 
other theories include a means to disable or destroy enemy satellites using lasers, kinetic weapons, or more subtle means that nudge satellites into re-entry and destruction, destroying any evidence of interference in the process. Some have also claimed that it's there purely to confuse the Chinese, who appear to have developed a similar-looking smaller space plane called Shenlong, though very little information about it exists. So far, there has been no confirmation nor evidence to support any of these claims. There is the possibility that it's a combination of military and civilian research, both of which are kept secret not because these purposes are particularly sinister, but simply because they want to protect intellectual property as well as military secrets. It is a paradox of our age that on the one hand we have the cooperation and mutual respect that leads to success stories such as the International Space Station. But on the other hand, countries remain suspicious of each other, fearful of their motives and determined to prepare for wars that no one wants. One of the most enduring legacies of the Apollo missions is the impact on human consciousness of the view of the Earth from space. Seeing our fragile blue planet from afar has shifted our race's perspective. There is a growing sense that we should be a united planet on which wars between nations are a thing of the past. Perhaps then we could divert some of the military spending to finance further exploration of space. What of the future? In 2011, Boeing announced plans for the X-37C, which is planned to be 165-180% to the size of the X-37B. The X-37C will be able to carry up to six astronauts into space within a pressurized compartment in the cargo bay. This announcement has led to further speculation, and it's not hard to imagine that the X-37C could be used to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station or some other similar station. Or these astronauts could carry out additional covert military research. Whatever's going on up there, keep watching and imagining. It seems we're just at the beginning, and this story has a long way to go yet. Thanks for watching. If you found anything of interest in this video, then please subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell. That way you'll be notified directly of any new videos. While you're there, please click the thumbs up button to give it a like and post a comment to tell me what you liked or disliked about this video. Finally, please share this video with friends and colleagues and in social media so that others may view it and comment. By subscribing, commenting, liking and sharing these videos, I'll know what I'm doing right and will continue to make videos that people want to watch.